Hello, this is Anita at Walnut Farm Designs, and I just wanted to do a quick video to show you um, the silk I was experimenting with. Um, I have a bunch of these silk cocoons that were all cocooned and ready to go, and I just pulled them out of their tubes that they had cocooned in, and then I just took off this extra, I just cleaned this extra silk off of the cocoon like that, so they were all ready to go. Then I was putting them in my pot um, and I just put them in with water and I wanted to see how whether I could reel it off straight off the cocoon um, and that didn't work so well. You can see my the it still has all the gum and you can see it's kind of rigid um, and I don't know it just was not easy to reel straight off the pot uh, with just water so then I tried uh, of course I put a little bit of soda ash and some Dawn detergent which really broke down the cocoons a lot more and you can see that uh, before I put the soda ash and the Dawn in um, the water didn't want to permeate the cocoon and the cocoons are kind of a rigid um, and the stuff that the they build it with it's very rigid and they have kind of a hollow sound and there's a pupa in there as you can see in here um, and the just water it didn't want to really break that down but with the soda ash or washing soda whichever it's the same thing um, and a little bit of Dawn detergent it kind of really broke down and got that gum out of there and then this is just a pot of clean water so it kind of effectively is rinsing them so that broke that down and then you have the pupa or chrysalis body in there and you can pull that out and I was trying to decide what I wanted to do and I didn't try reeling them again because actually I got this frame out of the attic it's for a pie bass. Well, I'm doing a terrible job with that. Let me get you another one. Um, because silk is pretty strong. Um, I got this. can use a lot of the, the, um, my goodness. Um, a lot of the frames are square. This might be a large, a uh, larger frame than the regular silk hanky frame. Maybe not that much. Anyway, it was for a pie basket, so you could put a, one pie under, and this was the second level of the pie, and that's what I have. So, once you get the pupa out, um, this is their last uh, skin. Their last set shed skin is also in there, so you got to get that out. And working with the cocoon in water, really, you see how it floats there? It really floats. You can open it up. If you keep it in water and work with it underwater, and you can kind of start stretching it. And you can either stretch it over like a domed frame to make a silk cap, or if you use a square frame like this, look how strong those fibers are. And you just hit, you can use an old picture frame or something, whatever square you got. And you just stretch that over and put over the edge. And then you do many layers. That was just one cocoon. And so you just keep on doing them and build up the layers until you have a silk hanky's worth, which is many layers of cocoon. So um, I might try reeling it again, just reeling this out of the pot now that it's degummed. Um, but actually this silk hanky, the way this is going, this is going so well that I might just do that and working with it right here in this pot of clean water is working really well and if you keep it down in there you can see how well it stretches out so it's really stretching out well and then it's really quick and easy to put on the frame so I just thought I'd do a little video of that again um, you can see the chrysalis and pupa here um, and then the shed skin so anyway just a quick video on how to do the uh, silk hankies here and uh, this is going actually pleasingly nice I think so thank you for watching